Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or if you're new, I'm Katie. I'm a registered dietitian and I'm here for another Tuesday chat to talk to you about the most important habit you need to master in your health journey. But before I get into it, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already so that you don't miss out on my future videos. As a dietitian, I know there are heaps of tips and tricks and pieces of advice I could tell you to help you tweak your lifestyle to get you to reach your goals. But most often than not, we don't always work with or get advice from professionals who can get us started in the right direction. There will always be an Instagram influencer that achieved results who wants to tell you their way is the best way to reach your goals and they will tell you how fabulous it was and how great we feel now, which is great for them. But if they aren't advocating for their own methods of success, they're probably promoting some set of diet rules that they follow, maybe a trendy 30-day detox, or maybe they are sponsored by a company. Now, I am talking to you as if you were sitting right here in front of me that none of this stuff matters if your head is not in the right space. I'd argue that your mental space is the most crucial aspect that determines whether or not you're going to be successful because what we think is what we do. And let me say that again for the people in the back, what we think is what we do. If we're constantly thinking that we're doing things wrong or believing that we will only achieve results by following trends that in reality aren't even enjoyable, if we're bringing ourselves down because we gave in to a certain food that doesn't follow a specific and frankly restrictive set of food rules, if we're constantly consumed by guilt because we fell off track or have started over too many times, then we aren't setting ourselves up in the right mind space to think about how we can do something. Instead, we're getting stuck by all the reasons why we can't or shouldn't even try. And this happens because we try to make ourselves fit into diets. We'll hear a set of food rules that sound doable, like, yeah, I can cut this out, and oh, I already don't do that, so we're good on that, and I think I can learn to make this work. And that's not what we should be doing. We shouldn't feel obligated to fit ourselves into diets and food rules based on empty promises of results. Our diets should fit into us and what we want our lifestyles to be like, or what they are already like, and what's going to make us happy. And the bittersweet part of that is that it means the diet that's best for you is unique and individual. It's great knowing that it's okay to not fit into a list of rules, but it can be challenging to figure out what your unique diet looks like. So, drum roll please. The most important habit I want you to master in your journey is reflection. Reflection is so important. The power of reflection is going to not only set you up for success because you're aware of yourself and what's going on in your life, it's going to actually shape your individual journey which is unique to you and works for you, unlike those 30-day programs or rules. When we reflect and check in with ourselves, we make the effort to make sure we're actually happy, that we're enjoying what we're putting our effort, focus, and time into. And let me tell you a little secret. People who are successful and have reached those goals figured out a way to enjoy the process of not only getting there, but staying where they are. Even if there were aspects that they didn't love so much, they at least learned to enjoy it or be at peace with knowing it is a part of the process. So beautiful human, make your lifestyle changes, but please ask yourself some of the following questions. Question number one, am I happy? If it doesn't bring you happiness, then something needs to change about it. Plain and simple. Question number two, do I enjoy the things I've been changing and can I see myself doing them for the long run? If it's not sustainable or something that with flexibility can impact you at all stages of life, then why are we spending time, energy, and probably money on it? Question number three, what is making me unhappy? So really dig deep and find the root causes and figure out how you either need to heal on the inside or if you need to change your physical environment or if there needs to be a shift in who you spend the majority of your time with. It's so important. Question number four is how am I feeling and how is my stress? And stress can manifest into other facets of our lives. It can impact our quality of sleep. It can physically wear us out and it can negatively impact how we interact and treat our relationships. 
Question number five is ask yourself how do you manage stress? What is something that pulls your focus away from stressful things, whether it be work or school, whatever is going on in your life? What helps you escape from it, even if it's just for 20 minutes every other day? Doing check-ins that follow questions similar to the ones I just said are so crucial in your weekly, if not daily routine. Doing a daily morning check-in may not seem like you're doing much and it may not feel glamorous, but if you don't truly know what's going on with you, what's causing you stress, or how to make yourself feel happier, then how can you expect to know what lifestyle changes you need to make? And how can we expect that a guide, an Instagram influencer wrote up about their personal journey is going to be exactly what we need to solve our problems instead of acting like a band-aid? Trying to make better choices and changes for our own health can feel so daunting and overwhelming because there are so many things that we can do, that we can try and change. But if you're checking in with yourself and you're like, okay, I'm overwhelmed and I can't keep doing this stuff, that is an indicator that you need to take a step back, master a few things, make them truly a habit for you, and when you feel up to it, add some more things back in. It is more than okay to take a step back, only do a few things, and truly, truly master them. Our thoughts are key drivers to the actions we take, and if you don't think you can do something or think that you don't deserve to achieve something, you are setting yourself up for failure because when things do get hard, you're going to see it as a sign that you're not good enough to push through it or it's a sign to give up. And I tell everyone that even if you don't do a single thing today that's aligned with your goals, as long as you're okay with that and you still have a positive outlook and mindset, then you are still making progress. You are still making progress. <laughs> So I hope this video was helpful and has hopefully put things into a new perspective for you if you were relating to any of the things that I was saying. If you have any topics you would like me to cover in the next video or any questions, please comment them down below and I can't wait to see you guys next week.